Peggy 18. Patrick, you've seen it, I've seen it. People get into a helicopter, they take off and they nosedive straight into the ground. But you guys have actually got a solution to put an end to that, at least hopefully for some people to have a practice, don't you? Absolutely. Well, we have two solutions. One is, of course, keep working with the fine tuning of the controls of helicopters and vehicles in general. Uh, so hopefully more people will be able to enjoy the, the flying of a helicopter. But on top of that, we're also adding a test range to the game which means that you can jump into this offline uh, component, uh, which is a map that has all the vehicles uh, of the game, uh, where you can, in a safe environment, try them out, make sure that you know them before you go into a um, you know, live server with six, four very aggressive players. So this peaceful test area where you don't come across any aggressive AI, but there is a landscape and, and targets for you, you to practice around. How varied is that? Is there landscapes and targets for all circumstances in, in battle? Yes, absolutely. We want both target practice for guns, normal guns, and then also uh, target practice for the vehicle combat, which is of course very important. So um, either you're using a boat or a tank or a helicopter or a jet, there's things to, to, to shoot up to practice before you go into a live server. Because when getting in vehicles, particularly piloting helicopters and jets, it can be frustrating that you, you get up into the sky and even if you know how to fly, you can get shot down by advanced pilots, can't you? Well, of course, you know, that's the, the, the whole point of adding the test range that, uh, you know, a lot of people feel daunted by just jumping into a helicopter and then four more people jump into that helicopter and then you take off and you crash and everyone's, everyone dies. Um, so uh, we wanted to create a very safe and, and uh, still um, exciting environment for people to try these things out. Because I'm a, a fairly experienced Battlefield player, I've been playing it since 1942, but I'll tell you something, I have not ever shot anyone down in a jet, so p me particularly, <laughs> I'm looking forward to playing in the test range. No, I think that's perfect, that's a perfect example. A lot of people, they ju just don't do it because it feels unsafe, it feels a bit jarring to pick up that super powerful jet from someone that is actually experienced. Uh, getting into that vehicle and then crashing it two seconds later, it feels like waste. So you're the, you're the perfect um, player to use the test range. Well, thank you for putting that in. I think it's such a big world as well and there's so much things to do. It's a shame that some people might not try flying a jet simply because they feel like they can't. Yeah, and, and again, we, we have noticed that some people are so used to not being able to fly that they don't even try it. So this is, this is the perfect place for them to try it out. Yeah.